Darius, Dorius, Darius. I checked four though. Darius. Darius. <laughs> Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we're looking into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking into the first name of Darius. Though before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to, and this is a great name by the way, Lump or Foul Deformity for becoming a patron recently. Thank you so much, Lump or Foul Deformity, once again, Great name there. Uh, they became a patron recently, and if you want to become a patron as well, you can by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain. One dollar a month helps out in a huge, huge way here on the channel. You get these videos completely ad free. You get exclusive content like a monthly podcast and a weekly blog post, and you get to have a say in what names get explained, whether it be on Fun With First Names or in my Wednesday videos. All of those names that are chosen there are decided by patrons, so do go check it out. Like I said, just one dollar a month helps in a huge way. You know the drill by now. Go look at it, link down below, cool. But anyway, on with today's name of Darius, and this is a name of seriously ancient roots. This is a name coming all the way back from Persian origins. It ultimately comes back from the ancient Persian name of, and I've got it written down here, Darayavahosh. I'm just pronouncing that phonetically here. I couldn't find any sources saying that word name, but Darayavahosh. That's a really fun name. We should try and bring that name back, because that's, that's great stuff. In modern Persian, however, luckily this name is a little easier to understand, at least for me anyway, where it is Dalayush. Dalayush? D-A-R-I. D-A-R-I-U-S-H. Dalayush. Obviously, I imagine in Persian it doesn't use the Latin alphabet, but that's the name in modern Persian, and that sounds an awful lot like the name we're looking at today. Dalayus. Darius. Struggling with this one. First time I haven't done this in a while, guys. Go gentle on me, be easy on me. This ancient Persian name simply means possessing goodness, with the first part of this name meaning to possess and the latter part meaning goodness. So like many names, it's just a compound of two older words and it comes together to form that name, possessing goodness. What a what a great meaning for a name. I'm sure many uh, Dara Rayoshes, what was it? Dara, Dara Yavahoshes, they possess a lot of goodness. There is another theory, however, that this name means wealth and kingly, and I imagine this etymology derives from one particular king. That being Darius the Great, and he was an ancient Persian king, and he reigned from, I've got it written down here, 522 BC to 486 BC. So yeah, like I said, this name is pretty ancient. Also, this is kind of a side tangent, but there's a really interesting story revolving around this king. So this guy, Darius the Great, he gained the Persian throne in a contest of sorts. So this contest was laid out and it was whoever whoever's horse neighed first. So they all got their horses in the morning. Whoever's horse neighed first would become king. Strange, I know, but that's... That's how they got things done in the past. And Darius's horse's handler, he had an idea. He's like, I know how I'm going to make my horse neigh fur. So he went to a female horse and rubbed his hand on the female horse's undercarriage, we'll say. So he had hit the female horse's pheromone and scent all on his hand. He really went to town on there. So when it came time to the morning, when Darius was on his horse, he just put his hand, what smelled of the lady horse's bits, to the horse's mouth, straight from the horse's mouth, straight to the horse's mouth, and that horse neighed very quickly. So yeah, a very horny horse supposedly got Darius the Great the throne. It's one of those weird stories from ancient history that we don't know if it's true, but it's pretty fun. You know, sometimes, sometimes we need to get power is a horse's junk, it turns out, who knew? Anyway, like I said, that was a massive tangent. So let's go back to this Persian name. And this Persian name was eventually adopted by the Greeks, where they turned this name into Dalios with that classic I-O-S ending. I-O-S ending? Yeah, I-O-S ending, because that's a very Greek way to end the name. So yeah, Dalios, it became in Greek. And then, like we've seen so many times before, the Romans took this name off the Greeks and made it into the name we have today, Darius. And that's how the name came to be. Like I said, it's really, really ancient, going from the Persians to the Greeks to the Romans to us. So what I found so strange about this name is that despite it being so ancient, its most popular time in recorded history anyway was the 1990s. Yeah, the, the, the 1990s, at least in the USA anyway, really peaked in popularity in that very strange decade. And the 90s were a very weird time. I remember there being lots of aliens, like 
inflatable aliens and and little alien pods little pods of aliens in them do you remember those like could they get pregnant there was rumors you put them in the fridge together their backs together and they got pregnant i don't know if you ever got an alien pregnant let me know down in the comments below oh there's gonna be some weird comments there i shouldn't have said that but let's carry on but among all those aliens being born there were also many baby dariuses being born as well it would seem this name reached its peak in popularity in the early 90s. In 1991, it was the 152nd most popular boy's name in the USA. That's not too bad at all for a really ancient, non-traditional name like this. Just shut of the top 100. That's really impressive, Darius, in the 90s. Well done, you. And it remained pretty popular throughout the 90s. So what was happening in this decade to keep this name so popular? Well, from the very minimal research that I do, and from my own hypothesizing, I believe it was one Darius Rucker who made this name so popular. And he was the lead singer in a band called Hootie and the Blowfish. No, I hadn't heard of them either. Apparently they're quite a big deal, at least stateside anyway. It's six tickets to Hootie and the Blowfish. This band seemed to be pretty synonymous with the 90s, and one source I said even referred to them as, and I'm reading the quote here, one of the 90s biggest rock bands. I'm quite into 90s rock, but I haven't heard of them, so I don't know. I said this must be a really local type thing. Maybe it was only popular in America. <laughs> the Blowfish. If you were in America in the 90s and you're a big Hootie and the Blowfish fan, let me know down in the comments because I want to know what song should I listen to? Suggest some Hootie and the Blowfish songs down in the comments because I'll probably be into it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm tired. Who knows? Let's get on with this. I'm going to pass on the concert because I'm just not in a very hooty place right now. This band seems to be synonymous with all things 90s and many even associate the name Darius, especially with this band. I mean, one comment I found on behind the name said that they deeply link this name with this band singer. Also, yeah, the website behind the name, which I use quite often for these videos, they have comments. Like, there's a comment section on each name where people send their opinions about names. They're really wild. Go, 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 go check them out because the internet can't survive without comment sections, it would seem. And even names need comments now. And some of them are pretty wild. Go, go, go look for yourself. So my theory, and of course, this is just my own theory I need to stress. I'm sure someone in the comments will explain in much more detail the actual reason why this name was so popular in the 90s is because of this band and their huge popularity and their lead singer having a fairly unique name. When people hear unique names, it kind of spreads to everyone else. We see that all the time in culture, naming trends, when there's kind of a unique name in popular culture, it gets picked up on and becomes a product of that time. Like all the Elsas and all the Daenerys being born at the moment and all the Ariana's? No, Dewar's. All the Dewar's being born as well. It, it, it's all kind of that. Like, a name comes along, is defined by a decade, that decade gets named by that. Happens. The circle of names. There should be a song about that, like The Lion King, but of names instead of life. And I just need to stress even more, this is just my own theory. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. In fact, I kind of proved myself wrong while I was researching this video. As I said, the name really spiked in 1991. That's when it was its most popular. And from my research, Hootie and the Blowfish became popular more in the mid-90s, 94 to 96. So that kind of goes against my own theory, I suppose. Why do you guys even watch these videos? Do you really learn anything? It's just me rambling for a bit, but it's called fun with first names, not not facts with first names. Maybe it should be called facts with first names. All right. So whatever the case may be, I'm gonna wrap this video up with a good old analogy slash metaphor. And that's the fact that bands and names are kind of similar. A lot of bands and a lot of names are just popular forever. They emerge and they just maintain a good steady level of popularity. While well, some names and some bands kind of spike and become defined by the specific decade they were popular in. And this seems to be the case of Hootie and the Blowfish who were very popular in the 90s. And likewise, the name Darius became also very popular in the 90s as well. And they kind of just become synonymous with one another. The 90s, this name and this band all kind of make a perfect love triangle of sorts of all things 90s. However, with the boom in popularities the 90s is currently facing, maybe this name of Darius will return. I even saw that in 2019, Hootie and the Blowfish reunited, are currently touring, we even released a new album. The 90s are back, baby. Woo, get that um, amber, get that gif of the dancing baby that's popular in the 90s going there. Yeah, woo, you, you get the idea. Or is the 90s dead now? Maybe it's early 2000s. Get something early 2000s there, amber, like a poncho or, I don't know, Britney Spears or... 
Anyway, these days, Darius is the 591st most popular boy's name in the USA, so not as popular as it once was, but still, still in the top 1,000. That's not too bad, just shy of the top 500. I'll take that. Here in the UK, it's the 331st most popular boy's name. It's actually more popular here at the moment than in the USA. That's cool to know. Maybe we're gonna have our own little Darius spike coming up, or maybe this is it. Who knows? As well as Darius the Great, there was also Darius the Second and Darius the Third, both Persian kings. And there was also Darius Miller and Darius Miles. I say also, they're still alive. They're both basketball players. One of them's retired, I believe. Darius Miles, I believe, is retired. But they're both famous basketball players in the USA. Anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Darius. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Darius? Are you called Darius yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, especially if you're a 90s Darius. Let me know why you have that name because that's what this video is all about. And of course, I want to share some of the thoughts you had about the name we covered in the last video, Ebenezer. Gosh, that feels like a lifetime ago now. Gemma 2021, wild stuff. Ebenezer Adu Marfo said, I saw the title and screamed, yay, my name has finally been mentioned here. I'm so glad I could learn some things about my name. I really like the way my name, though, not its biblical origins, though everyone calls me Ebe. Eb? Eb? I don't know. Eb? Ebe? Ever. But yes, that's amazing. There are actually quite a few Ebenezers or people who knew Ebenezers who commented on that video, and that was so great to hear. I really thought this name would be dead in the water, but here there's so many Ebenezers knocking about. That's amazing. Dickens would be proud. Maybe. I don't know. He was a weird dude. Nikki A said, two years before A Christmas Carol was published, Dickens was in Edinburgh. He was walking through Canongate Kirkyard and spotted a gravestone stating Ebenezer Logan Scroggy, Meal Man. Meal Man was his job. Dickens misread Meal as mean and even mentioned it in either a letter or his diary, I don't recall which. To be remembered, though not entirely only for being mean, it seems the greatest testament to a life wasted. Dickens has found inspiration for a character from Ebenezer Scroggy to Ebenezer Scrooge. Graveyards are fantastic for names and stories. Thank you so much for sharing that, Nikki. I can't believe this little story didn't come up in my research. Like, I sort of checked, I sort of researched where he got the name from, the origin of the name. And this story about seeing the name in the graveyard didn't pop up at all. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing here. And someone left a comment on this comment saying this comment was more informative than the actual video, which kind of hurt, but there's truth in that. That video comment was really insightful. Like I said, this should be called Facts with First Names, or maybe just a whole channel on the whole. It's like, there's probably a 50-50 chance these days on Name Explain, you'll learn anything. Like, that should be the tagline of the channel, Name Explain. Maybe you'll learn something, who knows? Like, I just found that comment really interesting. You guys should be doing my job, not me. And Naomi Egel said, you missed out the perfect opportunity to use the phrase, where the Dickens did the name Ebenezer come from? So I actually do know an interesting fact about this one. This is something I probably should have mentioned in the last video. And someone commented on this comment saying this as well, but the term, what the Dickens, is actually thought to predate Charles Dickens. It's thought to come from an old English corruption of devil, like what the devil's going on here, what the Dickens. Um, yeah, that, that phrase predates Charles Dickens, which is really crazy, I know, but that's believed to be the case. But yeah, I could have used that still. Go suggest some names down in the comments below, and I'll pick three of those to put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on to be covered for next week's Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, then please do once again consider becoming a patron. Like I said, $1 a month helps in a huge way, makes me smile every time I get a patron. No new guys love this channel enough to donate just $1 a month is amazing. That's all I ask of you guys, really. One, two dollars, how much you want to donate. That helps out hugely, and you get loads of good goodies in between. You don't like the adverts in these videos? Boom, gone. You want extra content? Boom, it's there. You want to have a say in what names are explained? Boom, it's all there. It's all there, guys. Just one dollar a month, patron, namesplain.com forward slash Patreon. No, patreon.com forward slash namesplain. Like I said, guys, you might learn something when you watch these videos these days. I don't know. 2022 is off to a really good start, isn't it, guys? Yeah, so go follow me on Instagram, name explain YT. Go join the Facebook page, Friends of Name Explain. Take care. I'm going to stop saying exciting Keith's also. I think that's why it's cool. So I'm going to say Name Nerds instead. Ruin my hair. This bit. This bit. Arguing with me.
really itchy chest, Amber. Very peculiar. And name, blah. Yeah, like I said, this name is pretty darn ancient. 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 Sound a bit Sean Connery there. Let's try that again. I mean, I even saw that uh, Hootie and the Blowfish have re 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 blah, 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 blah. That again. Go suggest some names down in the comments below for me to exp How do I do this part? I always forget, I should write this down somewhere, Amber. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be covered in a... Amber, Amber, Amber. That was a mess. <laughs>